Hi guys, Stugger here with a new video and this video will be a video where I try to convince you guys to actually play World of Warcraft for Dragonflight and um, it will be a bit of a biased video because I myself play that, uh, that game of course uh, but I want to actually give you some insight on why you should probably start replaying or playing World of Warcraft uh, Dragonflight especially. Um, I'm actually super excited for uh, that expansion. Uh, the more I play, the more I want to explore, but also do a lot of PvP, even World PvP. Uh, we had a big event, of course I didn't really uh, like record that gameplay, but it was very very fun. Uh, having a lot of people actually battling each other and we got a lot of bloody tokens from it. Like just with one battle. I got like 26 buddy tokens, so that was that was actually very, very good. And those tokens will be used to actually buy items. Um, but that aside, I want to talk briefly why you should probably replay World of Warcraft. It is the best time of the year, I would say, to actually play World of Warcraft. Because it is actually a fresh expansion. Everything is new for everyone, except the beta testers that really played everything from dungeons from quests from everything but m many people didn't really do that pvp wise it is also fantastic because everything is resetted from scratch so it means like every gear you're going to get from now on is going to build to your success to solo shuffle or 3v3 or 2v2 or rpgs right and the same for dungeons if you are like a mythic plus fan or a mythic fan mythic raiding heroic raiding whatever raiding you want to do it is also the best time to actually go in and find yourself a guild. Uh, of course, you have multiple great servers, but you can, of course, go for a popular server where you will find a lot of guild mains. And leveling is really, really fast. Like in Dragonflight, you can pretty much level in one day. You don't even need to hardcore level. You can also explore. You can go on your dragon and do some uh, challenges here and there. But really, it is actually fun and exciting and different from what we had in Shadowlands, but also what we have right now on Classic Wrath of the Lich King. If you are actually playing on Classic servers right now, and you're asking yourself, like, should I really want to test retail? Do I really want to give it a shot? To be honest, I think it's the expansion to actually go in from Classic to a retail expansion. Let me explain. You now have talents that you can spend however you want. It is also also very very nice to have while leveling, while doing PvP, while doing dungeons. You have multiple presets that you can actually do, and then you can test for yourself which one are actually fun to play, which one are not. Of course, it is really class dependent. Some classes don't really have a lot of choices, and I can give you that. But it is an ongoing process. It will get changed with patches, it will get changed with mini patches, with new seasons, new mythic seasons, whatever, they will change a lot of talents, also how they feel, but also the balancing, so some someday it will be very good to go for fatality instead of going for a bladestorm build, for example. Um, now that's an example, I think there are multiple builds that are working PvP, for example, but that's an another discussion for another day. Uh, why would you actually go back to Dragonflight? Basically, everything is quite new and fresh. Example, the, prof the professions. I'm not really a profession fan, but I decided to, to still do some professions uh, like blacksmithing and such because I think the gear is not as bad and it will be something like extra. I want to do something extra compared to previous expansions. I want to like open my mind towards a few things. Yeah, I feel like uh, professions are changed enough to my liking to actually give it a try. And I like the um, like chance to skill up, like all those things, little things, the crafting details, the qualities also, depending on your empowerment and such. Uh, like for example here, if you have better quality, you will have a better eye level on that, web, on that uh, item. So it's always great to, to play around that. I think PvP-wise, again... Uh, with uh, rated being being available 12 December something like that uh, beginning of December you will get a, a rated uh, new season for PvP so you can do rated solo shuffle which is basically solo queue and which is actually a very fun take 
around solo queue so again props on blizzard to actually put a great solo queue i would say game mode uh, in the MMO sphere, because again, who would have thought that a solo queue match could be something like a shuffle where you always change partners until you played everyone? I think it's a very good idea, and they actually did it correctly. I think they need to tweak a few things, like for example, people leaving and such, but that's an ongoing battle with also toxicity. I think all games have that, and hopefully, they can trim it down a bit, but the idea itself is very good. And uh, they also changed a few things, like for example the tank queues that are not, not there anymore except for protection paladins. And then you have like one tank per game maximum, which is normally going to trim the tanks that wants to play tank in solo shuffle. Because again, where is the advantage now? Your queue is the same as a DPS. So that's also a very good thing from Blizzard. Um, you have still 3v3 organized gameplay, you can still have your, your friends playing with you and try to rank up for it. And the gear is now, like I said on a previous video, a lot simpler. You don't need to upgrade to get the best gear. Now you can just buy the best conquest gear and the best honor gear, whatever, and progress from there. So if you have the best honor gear, it will help you and then you can progress to a full conquest gear and then you can add some two professions crafted um, items to actually improve with specific uh, bonuses that you can give to your character. I think that's also a very fun aspect towards uh, the, the gearing, the optimization, the tr trying to feel like an RPG but not uh, trying to dim the competitivity that we can have because of gearing because again gearing trims a bit of the competitivity because again if you're playing versus someone that is worse than you but you lose solely because of gearing it can feel bad and now i feel like gearing and skill is like balanced enough where you could win games because you have honor a honor set and someone has a conquest set it will not be enough to win a game just because you're you having a conquest set you will have to need set, uh, uh, skills, certain skills, certain comps, certain classes to actually defeat your foes. I think it's a very good initiative, but also just it's a, it's a, it's fun gameplay. I think gameplay first has always been something very good for games. And I feel like Dragonflight is headed to that direction. I think the gameplay is very fresh. I feel like the gameplay is more smoother because you don't have to think about covenants. And also I think balance, balancing changes will be a lot easier for Blizzard because they don't need to think about, look, if I'm nerfing that covenant, people will have to jump from a covenant to another. They will not like it because they will have to renown grind, grind it again and again. And in Season 1 Shadowlands, they did a mistake with time gating on that. And now that's gone. You don't have like specific things that are going to hamper your gameplay like for example dragon isles summary you have the dragon uh, scale expedition moruk center i didn't uh, unlock the escara tusca and you have valdragon accord all those things that you can have in game by reputation shots because this is basically reputation right every time you're doing a, a, a quest like for example this one uh, truce breakers you get maruk center reputation it will add to your um, dragon isle summary that's only cosmetics or profession things, like things that are not mandatory to power level, to, to your gameplay. You will not notice it while playing, while combat, while doing dungeons, while doing PvP. This, all of this, is not noticeable. It's not noticeable, except for, for example, if you want to do professions and such. But again, I think some sort of grind to some sort of... Um, parts of the game is for me okay because it's an rpg if you are not ready to grind a bit for some things like for example professions i think this will be important because you will get recipes from it and like for example blacksmith 3 to get like plants i mean you're playing an rpg you're not playing like a lobby sim simulator i think dragonflight is rectifying about that because Shadowlands was a, like a lobby system where you pretty much stayed in Oribos and you tr try to queue up for a raid or you try to look up for a LFG raid or you're going for a guild uh, run and you're staying at Oribos for that. Like that's gone. I feel like exploration is getting better. I think PvP is getting better. I think the raids are going to get better. Um, I heard some echoes that the raid is actually very fun. But I might be wrong, but I heard it from friends. 
and the mythic plus scene is going to be better because again gameplay first if the gameplay is very good and the balancing changes are going to follow i think it's going to be a very fun expansion and i think you not playing that expansion you're actually missing it out i'm not going to fomo you into playing that game but i think if you're looking for an mmorpg if you're looking for a fun experience this game should be yours because again this is the right time to come back to the game. You should not wait two or three months or four months or five months or six months to start playing a game because you're like fearing to lose time because you, you will not lose any time by playing that game. You will either like it or you won't like it. But if you're hesitating because the previous expansions were not that good, I guess you can be right about that. But Dragonflight from the looks of it, from everything, the feel of the game whenever I'm playing it, the more I read about it, the more uh, I talk about it with friends, the more excited I become about this game. So I hope you guys do also get excited from it. And if you are PvEers, if you are PvPer, if you are like a gatherer, you like to play uh, around auction houses and such, everything is there to ha make you actually happy. I think open world PvP, what I'm doing right now, not really right now, but what I did like at the start of uh, the the expansion, like in uh, like it was a very good experience because we had like twenty alliances versus twenty hordes, more or less. There were a lot of back and forth, uh, a lot of battles. You have you had like of course some one shots here and there, but it was actually very fun. I really liked the dynamic. I hope it becomes something that can happen more and more in the future like open world pvp open world activities open world world bosses like something like that could be very fun for the game and i hope blizzard actually builds upon that but um i myself i'm very very happy with the game i hope you guys might give it a try i just wanted to make a very quick video i don't want to make it a 20 minutes video about why you should play world of warcraft because to be honest, if by now you don't really have the itch to play World of Warcraft, you probably will not. But if you if you have that itch, if you play Classic at the moment and you're thinking, why am I not playing Dragonflight or uh, should I play Dragonflight? I think it is worth the money you put in to have fun with. I think it's enough to actually have fun with the amount of money you're going to spend on the game. Um... I think it's still better than, let's say, buying FIFA or buying Call of Duty or buying any other game that you're probably going to stop after a month or two. I think World of Warcraft is an ever-growing game. If you're buying the expansion, you're going to have an ever-growing uh, product until the next expansion. But I think if you're playing right now and you're having a lot of fun, why stop yourself to have fun with it, right? Uh, the leveling is very smooth, the PvP is smooth, the gameplay is full, smooth. I think they really nailed, nailed it. I think Dragonflight is the expansion that is the real build block, building block for Blizzard to actually build better expansions, better games, and just play it first, gameplay first. And I think that's a very good thing for the game and also for the players. So yeah, I'm very excited. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you. Please subscribe to the channel if you want PvP content. I know I talk about a bit about PvE, but I wanted to make as open as possible for the viewers. Uh, comment below what you think about World of Warcraft right now. If you're hesitating, I'm here to actually respond to the comments and help you with your decision to come back or not. Maybe it's not for you. And um, yeah, again, like the video if you like the video. Have a great day and we will catch each other very soon with a new video. Bye.